everybody, Galrock the Pizza Guy here, back with episode 15 of Agrarian Skies 2. Last episode, worked our way through a good bit of the assembly line quest chain, and before that we worked through a lot of storage wars, and now this episode we're going to work through power grid. So let's, one thing I wanted to get out, the magma crucible and fluid transposer, I have taken care of processing the ores I think we're going to need for now anyway. So I'll put those away. And the magma crucible there and the fluid transposer there. And we're going to set that to output there. Input on that. Alright. So what am I doing that for? Well, you know what else I need to set up is the induction smelter. I need the induction smelter. Where did I put that? We did make one of those, didn't we? Yeah, there it is. Got any flux duct left? One. All right. It'll serve the purpose. guess we'll just have to do that. It's only temporary. So one of the things I want to do is upgrade the uh, conduits we have, the ducts that we have. So if we look at flux ducts, I want to get to the redstone energy flux duct. So we need hardened glass. Well, hardened glass is pulverized obsidian with lead in the induction smelter. can also be done with the smeltery, but it's a lot more complicated trying to pour lead over a piece of obsidian in the casting basin. requires a lot of babysitting. So let's just do it this way. I guess I should have kept a... Here, we'll just use this pulverizer for now. It's not like it's going to dump the pulverized obsidian into a sieve, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's see. I made a l I've got a little bit of electrum here. Obviously, we need more. Wow, is that all the gold I've got? I believe that is all the gold I've got. Well, except for the coins. I could smelt some of those up. I'm thinking let's do that. Grab a couple of stacks of those. We can smelt these gold coins down into gold nuggets that we can then turn into ingots, so it'll help us work towards that electrum. Alright, pulverizer, how you doing over here? Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. Let's grab some lead. Do do do. And do like that. Alright, got some hardened glass cooking up. I didn't make some. Uh, oh, look at that. I do have more gold. Oh well. See, this is why I need more flux ducts. don't have my tools put together or my machines put together and ready to do what I needed to do. So 
So I'm going to finish cooking this stuff up real quick, and I will be back in just a minute. I got everything cooked up. Now let's go ahead and get it crafted. So there's our redstone energy flux duct empty. Now here's the next part. We've got to melt down some redstone in the magma crucible. And then put it into the fluid transposer to fill up these in energy flux ducts. Now these are capable of transferring quite a bit more than uh, than the hardened ones are, although we're still going to be using the hardened ones quite a bit for a while. But there's a few places I'd like to uh, upgrade what we've got. That's a good start. Let's start by upgrading the power gen line. don't think we have to worry about those outrunning what they're producing. Alright, that's all done. And I dug, or not dug out, but built out a bit of a basement area over here so we could run a main line along here using the new flux ducts alright there we go and we'll save what else we've got here for a little while later in the meantime, let's see what other types of power gen we can come up with. Well, looking in the quest book, you can see I was already looking at water power. Let's do a steam boiler and a steam turbine and see what we get. Hmm, maybe time to eat. Nom nom nom. Alright. Let's see, I know one of them needs that steam dynamo. What else do we need? We're gonna need some plastic sheets, a couple of reinforced portable tanks, some nether brick stairs, a sledge boiler. Well, how about I take a minute and get some of this stuff put together and ready to go, and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, I believe I've got everything together. Let's find out. That'll get us the nether brick stairs. I guess I can put the rest of the nether rack away that I didn't need. Okay. So, let's see. The steam boiler requires a sludge boiler. Boom. Got it. Alright. You know, that might have completed a different quest. I don't know if it's an unlocked quest yet. Ah. Uh, oh well we will have more sludge boilers to make later. Fear not. And we need a couple of reinforced portable tanks, which needs a couple of hardened portable tanks. So we can make one like this. There we go. The other one like this. I didn't think they would stack. And then upgrade those to the reinforced. Just like so. Now if they're not going to stack, that means I won't be able to do that. That's what I thought. Alright, let's do that, 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 that. And no, it was plastic across the top. Yeah, like that. Alright, steam boiler. Now the steam turbine should be as simple as... Nope. What am I missing? I should have everything. Let's see. Yep. There we 
go. One steam turbine. Water power complete. What did we get? A chair. Because that's exactly what I needed, right? Uh, you know, I'm not even going to bother throwing this down somewhere. I'm just going to put it away. All right. So let's take a look at this steam boiler. Does it require power to operate? Yes, it does. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Temperature work. Okay. Maybe. If we set it on top of a piece of nether rack that's on fire, let's try that. That I've I've never actually messed with this steam boiler before, so y'all bear with me. Let's do that. I should have some more of those temperate fluid ducts around somewhere. Somewhere. There they are. Nope, that doesn't seem to be affecting the temperature. It was worth a shot, right? If this thing requires power to operate, I'm going to be less inclined to want to use it. It just does not say... Is there something else we're supposed to put in there? Alright, I'm going to have to figure this out. Give me a minute and I will be right back. Alright, I had to go on and do a little research, but I got this figured out. So here is what we have to do. I'm going to actually tie this in with my lava bucket system. Yes! It looks like it takes in some extra ones. Alright. So then what I need to do is fix my output so I'm gonna need another I'm gonna need another item node on that. And see I've got some of those around here somewhere. I think, I hope. There we go. Actually I'm gonna need that liquid node as well. Gonna need some more transfer pipe. Okay. I think I'm going to be busy for a minute. Give me a couple of pieces of glass. And four redstone I think will do. At least if I remember correctly. Got it backwards. Do that. And that. Alright. There we go, got some more pipes. I'm going to need another world interaction upgrade. So that's no problem, just need to grab everything for it. Now 
Now that steam turbine, or steam boiler rather, is going to take a long time to heat up. You can see the temperature's at 20.8 now. Once it finally does heat up though, to 100 degrees Celsius, it will start boiling off the water. So this might actually be a very nice addition to this whole system. So uh, yeah, I might might take the time to make a few more of these, or at least a few more of the turbines. From what I was reading, it looks like it can keep four turbines supplied with steam. So that'd be pretty nice. Let me get this world interaction upgrade so we can use... Now y'all are probably yelling at me. I'm getting it wrong again. Nope, I got it right. Okay. I can use the trans liquids transfer node to handle water collection for us. Alright. Now came over here to grab some string. That's what it was. So four string, four sticks, and a piece of redstone, I believe, is what it takes to make that filter that I'm wanting. Yep. Nope. Nope. It's four redstone, one string, and four sticks. Alright. Fine. what we're going to do with this filter need to empty this lava bucket is what I need to do let's throw it in here for another piece of obsidian there we go alright I'm going to set this filter up to accept empty buckets so then we'll take our items transfer node this is probably going to look ugly. I know what I can do. I can run this underneath. There we go. All right. It might not have needed that filter. Looks like it was intelligently outputting the buckets, but we'll do it that way anyway. Put that cobblestone back down right there. Very nice. Very nice. And why did the temperature cool down? Now it's warming up again. Strange. All right, we're going to leave that alone for a minute, let it run. We're going to put the turbine down right here. And then we're going to need to connect Do we have any more of those hardened fluid ducts? Yeah. 
don't know if this boiler is going to auto output, so we'll see by doing that. Warming up now. Let's see what's. I want to see what's going to happen when this uh, work bar gets to the end. Alright, maybe something about the way I connected to collect the lava buckets caused it to stop for a bit. But it's working now. So now, for our next trick, plant fuel. We need a biofuel generator and a bioreactor. So what do we get? Bioreactor, we need a couple of slime, sugar, bricks, some machine frame. Tell you what, how about I take a minute to get some of these basic ingredients together. Ooh, blaze rods. Do I have blaze rods? I mean, obviously I've been to the nether, but I don't remember. I don't think I've been to a fortress or, yeah, fortress yet. Hmm. That might put a bit of a damper on things. Where would I where would I have put a blaze rod? If you were a blaze rod, which chest would you be in? I don't think I have any. Well, we'll just have to come back to that one, I guess. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I can go ahead and make some armor and we can make a run to the nether. I don't know. Am I ready for that? Y'all think I'm ready for that? You know what I need to do that? We need a bow. So. I did get a crossbow. What's the draw speed on that? 1.5 seconds? Oh, durability of 8. Never mind. All right, I'm going to make a bow. So let me decide what I want to make it out of, and I will be back in just a minute. But I think I've decided what materials I want to use. Just a quick note, though, I went ahead. It looks like this uh, steam boiler is going to work out. Temperature is continuing to climb. And once we get it up to temperature, so I went ahead and set this up. Throw the world interaction upgrade in there and it starts distributing water. There we go. So hopefully that thing will be producing steam soon. I'd like to see what it's going to do when it gets into this steam turbine. So I'm going to make a quick hop over to the nether. because one of the materials I want for my bow is going to be found here. Gas. 
ghasts everywhere. This is why I want a boat. Ouch. Ah. And no, gas tears is not what I wanted to make my bow out of. Of course, whenever I don't want these things to spawn, they're all over the place. There's a string, so maybe there's one nearby. And it turns out, Manulin Mining Level doesn't mine cobalt. Go figure. some of those heat scar spiders. I'm going to look around and see if I can find one of those heat scar spiders. I hear a hellfish. And I see a nitro creeper. There's another nitro creeper. Another one over there. Good grief. I don't want nitro creepers, I want heat scar spiders. Alright, I'm gonna try to find some heat scar spiders. Obviously, the flame string is what I want. I'll be back in a minute. Well, I went through all that, finally found some flame string, and then I remembered. We can spawn blazes ourselves. So there was no need for me to do all that. So, I'm going to put this stuff away, work on getting ready to spawn a blaze with angry dolls and a stone barrel of lava. And I will be back in just a minute. Like it's actually time to call it a day. So what I decided to do instead, oops, forgot one piece, is to go ahead, oh, why is nothing wanting to shift click anymore? Go ahead and make a couple more of these steam, tur steam turbines, there we go, to connect to this system, because I think we're getting plenty out of it. Grab a couple more of those fluid pipes. I might need to add some more world interaction upgrades so that this thing will keep up. I don't know. Uh, looks to be just barely keeping up. Oh, the that's right, I needed the hardened fluid ducts to pipe the steam in. Where are they? There we go. There 
we go. Oh, wow. Look how fast that sucker's filling up. All right. And how's this looking? Looks to be holding. So, yeah, I think I'll add another world interaction upgrade to this just to help it keep up a little better. And uh, I, I think that's going to solve our power production problems for a little while anyway. And next episode, we're going to start making the AE system because I am tired of this. And I could make a fancy sorting and storage system, but real, but the reality of it is be a lot easier at this point to just go ahead and start using AE. So I think that's what we're going to work on next episode. Y'all be sure to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash galrockfamily, or on Twitter, and or on Twitter, Twitter handle at galrockfamily. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more of my videos. We've got plenty going on, more of our videos I should say, it's not just me anymore. And until next time, this is Gal Rock the Pizza Guy reminding everybody, tip those pizza delivery drivers. We're out there working hard for you. See you next time.